Hello, hello, and welcome. We are so excited to have you all joining us today for this magnificent training. When I was contacted a couple weeks ago by Jocelyn about coming and being able to speak about my journey, as well as my interest and passion within STEM and STEM education, I could not say yes fast enough. Um, so just a little bit about me. I'm Michael Denon, Jr. I always put the junior because my dad likes to steal all my stuff. Um, and I'm originally from Garner, North Carolina. I'm currently a medical student at the Broder School of Medicine. Um, and I've been blessed and fortunate enough to go through several different educational journeys to get to where I am today. Um, I began my education at an early college high school in Raleigh, North Carolina called Wake Early College of Health and Sciences. Then I transitioned to here at East Carolina University um, where I was in the Honors College of EC Scholar. Um, and I did a combined degree with my undergrad in public health with a minor in natural sciences and a master of business administration. Um, I then took a year off, quote unquote, to go up to the big city, the big apple of New York City to Columbia University in order to earn a master's in public health with a certificate and concentration in epidemiology. Um, and then I came right on back down here to Eastern North Carolina to attend the Broder School of Medicine where I'm currently pressing through the, the trials and the, the journey of medical school. Um, but I've always known that medicine was my calling um, and it's really based within the STEM and the scientific experiences that I had growing up. Um, a quote that I always love to say is, if you can see it, you can believe it, therefore you can achieve it. The issue is oftentimes our kids don't even have the opportunity to see what options and opportunities are present and able for them to pursue. So for you all, what you all are learning today is based in that, learning activities that are STEM related that you can present to our kids that are even as young as three, four, and five, being able to utilize scientific terminology. All of these different activities will present to our kids, one, the importance of science, the importance of technology, engineering, and math, but then two, letting them know that it is something that they can too do when they get older. Um, I think back to this growing up as, as a person of the South, right, as an African-American male in the South, and I come from a very large family. I always half-heartedly joke that if there's a disease you can think of, one of my family members has it, right? And it was my engagement with a physician when I was in kindergarten in Lumberton, North Carolina, that prompted me to enter into the field of medicine. It was me seeing my family members suffer from and succumb to different disease processes and me asking why? What is occurring? What is the biology, the chemistry, the anatomy and physiology behind these different diseases? And then how can I help? How can I change these outcomes? And I began looking at these different processes and questioning and being curious about it. And I'm fortunate enough to, not, to have two parents um, who both graduated from college. My mother was a special education teacher and my daddy focused in criminal uh, justice. And both of them would tell you, neither their background in science and STEM is not the strongest. Um, but they saw that I had this curiosity. They saw that I always asked why. And they prompted me and promoted me to continue questioning um, and asking why do certain things happen and what can I do to be able to alleviate those, those problems or answer those questions. And because of that, they provided me these different teensy-weensy activities and, and opportunities to engage with STEM-related fields and STEM-related activities. These things, when I was younger, really built the basis for me to be able to become who I am today and to pursue the degree that I am, right? One of my other favorite quotes is, excellence of performance will transcend any artificial barriers created by man. Um, growing up, I, even though I had two college-educated parents, we oftentimes were still in low-resource communities. We oftentimes still struggled, right? And because of that, I recognized that there was a difference between how I was viewed. There was a difference between the opportunities that were readily presented to me. Um, and I, but I was fortunate enough to have teachers, Miss Keith, my first grade teacher, Miss Go King, my second grade teacher, and then even my, my daycare individuals at Apple Tree Daycare in Raleigh. They made sure that I knew the importance of being prepared, the importance of being excellent in all that I do, the importance of presenting my best self, 
and and learning right being prepared to come into situations and systems that i might not necessarily be uh, viewed positively in because of my background and because of their passion and, and their push for me to be excellent in all that i do and especially within stem i can say that now i have progressed forward and i'm now a medical student so what does that mean to you all you all are critical. You all are important and pertinent to the development of each and every one of our youth and our kids. Being able to articulate the importance of science, the impact of science, being able to say that science is really based in the why, but you have the ability to say, well, what can I do to answer that why and to change that why? It is you all as educators that will be able to open up this world, this unknown world to these young individuals so that they too can not only dream, but achieve their dreams, right? STEM is amazing. It can be challenging, but any and everybody can do it. We just have to be able to see it. And when we're able to see it, we have to be excellent in it. And you all as educators have the ability um, to ensure that students have what they need to check both of those boxes. So continue to be great, continue to remain motivated and focused. And my background is in youth development and curriculum development. So if there's ever anything that I can help with, please, please, please reach out. You all are gonna do great. You all are great. And I'm excited to see what our youth will become in the future because of the foundation you all lay. Thank you and I'll speak with you soon.